how I wanted to make a project, an exhibition that only could have been done here. That could function and could be shown in Italy, in Mexico, in several places, but that the material aspect of its construction could only be, be done in these circumstances. These, these grottas and the concept of third nature, I think it has two points that we can go and discuss. That is kind of this detachment of nature and thinking that we have the possibility to build a better reality. And also it has brought the idea of the grotesque. And, and these, these grottas that always kind of host this classical status that are in some way a massification of the idea of neoclassical culture really caught my attention because it's this kind of figure that you can find everywhere. Like I've seen them a lot of times in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. So they have become a canon of an idea of purity, of wealth, of power, and at the end of this kind of really strong Western idea of culture. And at the end I didn't want to disattach completely the grotta from the status. So a lot of what I started doing is to think it like in part of one, one kind of character, like a certain monster that could be grotta and neoclassical statue at the same time. I think this idea of the massification of a dominant culture also comes with the idea of the generation of certain aspects completely being misunderstood and degenerated across this path from a high notion of culture to a popular one and coming back. And then I came across this article about the Lucholes and how Pasolini makes this comparison about the extinction of the Lucholes in relationship to industry, to consumption, and how these artificial lights of industry represent, represent an idea of fascism, and how fascism has killed these Lucholes that for him are a symbol of innocence, of purity, of hope. It's a conversation that thought to be dead for several years, and now, as a universal perspective, fascism and nationalism is being brought back again in different ways, but it's a constant presence. And Didi Huberman explains that it's not that the Lucholes are gone, it's that Pasolini lost the possibility of looking at them. So it's, again, as a visual artist, is this power that George D. D. Huberman gives to the site, to the possibility of seeing or watching something. And he said that Pasolini lost the, the hope because the Lucholes, that might be difficult to see, are still alive and still there. And that actually the idea of the Luchole represents an idea of resistance. I don't only refer to the official notion of history. I'm interested in those strange hidden points that you find along your, your way. And especially because a lot of my practice also depends on the people that are surrounding me, all the, all the relationships that you start building with persons and the information that they have that could be like more technical, more conceptual, bring, bring a certain kind of flavor to the project. So I think my work is really contextualized depending on the place that I'm working and with the people that I'm working with. And at the end, that's a kind of mystery, even for me, because I don't know how many layers there are. Because the information that all the people will bring by the discussion, the dialogue that the project will create, will add even more layers of information for, for me. So I think that's the final idea, is, is to keep the dialogue, dialogue open.